Hello, welcome to the Scratch Theory Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple box like this in Fiji 360 under 5 minutes. Let's scratch to this topic. In a bit here, I will show you how I make this box in Fiji 360 in under 5 minutes. But first, I just want to go over the small feature of this box. I'm starting this side hustle of me making batteries like these um, in range from 1S all the way to 4S. You can choose from all types of connector, XT30, XT60, or just a normal JSTM SM connector. I'll leave a link down below for my batteries here. Making those batteries, I needed to make my own wires, heat shrink it like that. And it was messy because I don't have a place to put my heat shrink. So that's why I decided to make this box right here. And if we open here, we can see that. This side is 30 millimeter, this side is 15 millimeter. I have not got the time to cut these yet. These are just normal heat shrink tube here. So this side is gonna contain the 30 millimeter and this side is gonna contain the 15 millimeters. This box is simple, but really effective. Um, it can close down, you do this, it's not gonna fall, which is very nice, convenient. And back here, it has hinges, as you can see there. It uses 3D filament, I put 3D filament in there as my hinge for opening this box and it has a stop at about 140 degrees here which is very nice overall this is a simple design and i'll show you how i make this less than five minutes in fusion 360 let's go okay we are now in fusion 360 so i'm going to walk you guys through the steps it took me to make the box so first i made a sketch right here it's a 100 by 50 millimeter i then extrude the box by 40 millimeter as well right here then i went back to my first sketch extrude the bottom by three millimeter so that we have a bottom there Next, I made another sketch on top, dividing both boxes. Then I extrude that all the way down. So now we have two sides. Then I made my third sketch, eight millimeters down and all the way, just so that we have these two extra space for our text. I then extrude these by five millimeters down. Next, I went ahead and chamfered this right here, just so that we don't need support and this can print at a 45 degree angle. Then I made another sketch up here for my text to go. Once I did that, I extrude the text by negative 0.5 millimeters so that we can see when it is 3D printed. After that, I went to my first sketch at the bottom here and I extrude it all the way up here just so that we have this extra little bump here just for the look of it and so that the lid can close later on too. I then make another sketch on the side right here. This is going to be my hinge. This is a 5 by 5 box with a 2 millimeter circle in the middle. That's for our hinges. And that's where our filament is going to go inside to make the hinge. I then make my first sketch right here. Then I mirror this over to the other side just so that it's symmetrical. I then extrude another block right here. And then I extrude another one in the middle. And then I copy it over to the other side. After I've done all of that, I move this down 1 millimeter so that our lid does not have any problem interfering with the main box here. For this next step, I extrude this block, this block, and this block to the main box because those are the hinge for the box. These two are going to be the hinge for the lid. Then I make another sketch on top of everything here. This is going to be the lid. After I've done that, I extrude it and make a new body. Now we have the box and the lid, which is a good sign. I then fill everything so that we have a closed lid and a closed box right here so that is going to be perfect we are pretty much done with the basic of this box next year we're just going to have to fix some stuff so that it does not interfere with each other and it can open nicely after this i made another sketch on top of this this is for the overhang of the box so that it covers it and does not leave any space for the box or anything inside to um, leak out if we take a look at the section here, you can see that my lid comes down a little bit past the box, which is very good. The next step I did is to round these two hinge off like that so that it does not interfere with the box here. If I leave it square, it's going to hit it and we can open the lid at all. Next, I did the same thing for the hinge on the box. Then right here, I test it and it opens very nicely without any interference. If we look at here, it looks really good. No interference at all. Even though there's no interference right here, we can see that these are touching with each other. So that's going to have friction. So what I did is make a sketch right here at the very back over here. I just project everything and offset this by 0.25 millimeter just so that we have this extra bit down here. And when we extrude all of that to the lid, it has this cutout right here. The box and the lid, it's going to have this 0.25 millimeter clearance and the lid is going to open very smoothly without any interference. So once we have this, there's not much to do left. 
all we need to do is just round the edge make everything look good i just went around and round all the edge here even inside of this round all the edge so that it's easier for the 3d printers to print and it looks a lot better a lot cleaner more professional after all of that i went ahead and make a sketch right here this is a two millimeter sketch right here this is for the lid so that it can down and lock on this part right here. And once we have all of those, it's completely done. And we have finished making our box right here. There you go. That's how you make this box in less than five minutes. And we have an open hinge that works really nicely right here. This is a 140 degree open angle, which is very nice. As you saw there, it was pretty simple just to design this box. Just make a rectangle, make a split in the middle, and add a lid, add a hinge, Add a small offset right here for the lid to shut and lock in so that it does not fall down which is pretty convenient and i hope this tutorial helped you to make box like this yeah there are many cool box out there stackable box infinity storage i don't really need those i just need a simple box to store my heat shrink just need a simple box that closes and locks that holds a heat shrink i'll leave this model in the description down below as well if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos this is coming. And if you haven't yet, become a member of the YouTube channel. And if you need batteries, just head down to the links in the description down below. Hit me up and I will make these batteries and send it to you. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.